Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 67 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field density. So you can see in this system, we have a dipole, right? And the dipole is along the axis of the dipole. So now we need to find the electric field density at this location and then equals to this function. And then this dipole contains one is a positive charge, one is a negative charge. So first one, we can see, we can write the electric field by this positive charge. It is radically outward, so it is pointing to the right, to the right hand side. Now you can see, we can use 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times the charge Q divided by distance between the charge with the location. See, you can see the distance between the origin to the location is R. And the distance between the origin to the charge is L over 2. So the distance between charge and location is R minus L over 2. Agree? So we can write down the magnitude for E plus. Now we look at the negative charge. For negative charge, it is pointing to the left, radically inward, right? And still, this is the negative. The charge, this is charge Q, divided by 4 pi epsilon. And the distance between the location and neg negative charge, this is still L over 2. So you can see from this position to this position, the distance is L over 2 plus R. Agree? So we write it there. Now it looks like we need to find the um, addition for these two vectors. So we add these uh, two magnitude together. Right there is a negative sign. So we put it there. Put it as a positive e plus and e minus in this function. And then we need to solve it. So we just uh, make it simplified. So so simplify it. Now it looks like we need to prove it equal to this one. It becomes two p right by zero. You can see you just simplify it. You get the function equal to this one. Um, two p l. It looks like we almost there, but you can see look at the bottom. This is R Q. It's that it's not have any any uh in term includes L over two, right? Include L. There is no L. And also it gives you a hint, the keyword. Tell you R is much larger than L. So that means in this term compared to a very large R, this term L over two can be ignored. And this term can be ignored. Do you agree? If we ignore these two terms because this one tells us the hint, you can see it become R fourth time. So time the power is four. And then one R and R is cancelled. So we can write it as this one, right? Now you can see Q times L just the moment moment of the dipole. Then we proved it. Agree? Next question, what direction does the E points? It points to the same direction as the dipole's moment. Because you can see in this function, this E function equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught R cube. All this term is just variables. So only vector is P. This P is the moment of the dipole. Agree? So now we proved it. Thank you.